Yeah. He'll definitely beat you if you ain't having shit. You think he can hang with the top 154s? Of course. Of course. You're talking about Wally. Oh, wow, well, oh, can he? Yeah. No, I don't know. I think, uh, talking about the champs? Yeah, the or champs. Or just the top guys? The champs have to be four. You got, you got Mugia, and then you got Julian, J-Rock, and then you got, uh, uh, Tony Harris. Mm -hmm. Nah, he can't fuck with them. They can't fuck with neither one of them. They can't fuck with the Charlos. They can't fuck with me. Shit. I mean, so, you really look at any of the ratings. Then you look at the top 15, I don't think he can really fuck with anybody in the top 15. You know who I think he will clip? Or he could clip? Who? Patrick Texera. Uh, why do you think he could clip him? Because he ain't got no damn chin and, and, and he's, he's awkward and he's like, he don't got that best of skill. And he gets hit way too easy. Like I said, a boy could punch. He could punch, but I don't think he knows how to deal with movement. Texera throws a lot of punches, but he stands right there. Yo, I bought one. Who you got as the number one? Uh, Junior Middle? Anyway. J-Rock? J-Rock. You think he'd be Mongoa? Mongoa, yeah. 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 I think, I think, I think J-Rock's number one, man. He's a dog, bro. He's a fucking dog. I got a lot of respect for him. Plus, I remember when he was just a regular dude that was just asking for an opportunity, like myself. He just asked for an opportunity, and then he got with Al Heyman and PPC and shit. Took full advantage of it. He's been a dog ever since, man. And he's humble, too. I like that. Do you think the promotion wars hold certain boxers back in this era? Only if they let them. If they let them. I like, like... If you, if you can make Pacquiao Mayweather, you can make any fight. Like, that's my opinion. I think you can make any fight. If you, if, if you make Pacquiao Mayweather, you can make any fight. But yeah, do so I think like with all the zone, the zone and uh, ESPN thing? You know, yeah. But then you gotta look at it like this, man. This made Maurice Hooker and uh, Hooker and uh, Ramirez. That was a great fight, man. They came together and they did it. They were gonna make the. Uh, they were going to make the uh, Andre and uh, Billy Joe Saunders fight. You know, those two promoters hate each other, Frank Warren and, and uh, Eddie Hearn. But yeah. business, when business, you know what I mean, wins, fucking, that's what you got to do. Money talks, bullshit Money, runs America. Uh, 100%, America. man. 100%. So it's like, you know. But I think, like, I still think. I'll give you an example, like the Tank and Tevin fight, man. They milking that shit to make it way more. It's a big fight now, but it would be even bigger. You know, let's yeah. say next year. And at the end of the day, man, boxing, you're risking your life, you want to get compensated well. I know the money that, 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 that they're asking for right now, today. And they could probably get it, but they're guaranteed to get it next year, plus you know, some more probably. That's my opinion. I, I say, why not? Yeah. You can, you can not like somebody all you want. You can say, oh, we're going to fight. When are we going to fight and shit? But business guy makes sense, man.